good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have another episode of my damn hauls and it is episode number whatever the hell number it is brad i don't even freaking know to be honest with you but we got a couple packages here today that i'm very super excited about and you'll notice that this one's already slid open because i'm a stupid idiot jackass and i cut it open it's not too big of a deal though you guys will see what that is but not only are we going to open these packages here today on my damn hauls we are also going to showcase some custom slash fix-ups that i think you guys will enjoy, but I figured go ahead, throw them in the My Damn Halls episode instead of making its own video. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Uh, the trusty knife is back at it again. We're going to cut open this package. Before we cut open this package, though, we are going to dive into this package. And inside this package, I have the best paint of all time, the best paint to use when you're customizing your WWE action figures. And I'm going to show that off first. But before we dive into any of the packages, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to my boy Christian from Unstable1047. The link to his channel is down in the description below. For some reason, I'm a stupid jackass, and I forgot to mention him in my Elite 78 news. He's the one that told me about the Twitter stuff and about the Elite 78, so I did want to plug him and uh, give a huge shout-out to him, guys, so definitely go check out Christian's channel down below. Really awesome dude, posts really funny videos and very informational videos. Just a good dude overall, and uh, he's one of my friends here in the community, and I did want to give a shout-out to him. So go follow Unstable1047 on Instagram and check him out on YouTube. Link in the description below, guys. Well, let's go ahead and open this up just a little tissue paper right there but as we open this up I was actually surprised by this as we open it up here I'll get into why I was surprised by it but you guys will notice this right here this is Citadel Air so Citadel Air paint you guys can see we have a bad and black we have white scar and we have Kislev flesh now if you guys see this these bottles I was not expecting them to be this big this is the 2019 or 2020 version where they've pretty much doubled the size of the bottle there's a lot more paint in here than there used to be the usual bottles used to be like this size so they've like doubled the size of them and I am super happy to get this you know in the packaging I was like oh my god is there four paints in here I don't remember ordering four but it's just because these bottles are so damn big that they felt like four but these this is the best paint you can use to customize guys Citadel Air and it's very thin you don't have to thin it out it goes right on there and it's just perfect for coating things or doing anything Citadel Air is where you want to go and I figured I'd plug that in so you guys definitely want to get this this paint this paint is your best option. Uh, I don't think you can get it in stores unless you have a hobby store like you know one of those card shops or something that's probably the only place you can get them. Besides that Amazon has them and eBay has them I think so definitely go get in on that great paint right there. Wouldn't recommend any other but now we're going to get into this package and this package is excellent. You guys can see we got some figures in here that it, it's absolutely just nonsensical I got this from eBay. I can't wait to crack it open but the only way to crack open the next package guys is with the good old Trusty knife. What the hell is even that? So I didn't want to stab it too bad because uh, their figures are in here and I didn't want to, you know, cause a big scene or anything like that. But we're just going to rip this open and you guys will see they are individually wrapped here. We have individually bagged figures and you guys will see what figure it is. We have one Survivor Series Jeff Hardy Elite. We have two Survivor Series Jeff Hardy Elites. We have three Survivor Series Jeff Hardy Elites. We have four Survivor Series Jeff Hardy Elites. And lastly, the fifth figure and the final figure is a fifth and final Survivor Series Jeff Hardy Elite. Now, what? Uh, how I found this is it's kind of crazy is because I actually I save the uh, the term Jeff Hardy Elite on uh, on eBay. You guys know if you if you guys use eBay, you can save a search. So I saved Jeff Hardy Elite, and usually like every day I'll get on there and at least check it because you get because if you don't check, guys, you won't get in on all the deals. That's the whole point. You want to put that on there and check it so that you don't miss out on any deals. But so. Uh, uh, basically, I searched that up, and the Je this Jeff Hardy came up, and it was loose like this, and it said $14.99 or $13.99, one or the other, with like $2 shipping, 
And so I noticed he had like four or five in stock. So I said, bro, I'm gonna just buy as many as possible because you know, this figure right here has never been to retail. It's kind of expensive on other places. I don't need the box. So why not go ahead and buy some loose figures? I found it on eBay. So I was like, dude, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab them. And I grabbed as many as I could. So I think five, I was like, that's enough right there. That should be plenty for customs and fix ups. So now we have plenty of the Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy. I'm very happy because I love this head sculpt. I freaking adore this head sculpt, actually. I just love the look of it. I think it looks awesome. It's a beautiful looking head sculpt, and uh, these arms could make for cool fix-ups and stuff you guys have seen. I actually have a fix-up back there that I'm going to show you guys, but I'm just super happy to own a bunch of this figure now. Uh, I remember I told you guys when we first saw it, like, showcase, I was like, dude, if they ever, uh, if this figure ever gets found at retail by me, probably going to buy the whole store. So it's really cool to see that, uh, you know, we got a bunch of them from eBay, from that seller, and uh, I went back and checked the other day, and they're actually sold out now, or I couldn't find it on eBay, so I'm not sure if they sold out or what the case was, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove all these hoes out of their baggies. Everybody always makes fun of me because I say baggy, but that's what it is, right? It's a plastic baggy. What do you call it down in the comment section below? It's a plastic baggy. All right, guys, so I got them all out of the packaging, but this is this is not all that I wanted to show you guys. We got the paints, obviously, and we did get the Jeff Hardys for this episode of My Damn Halls. Like, this, this head sculpt is just so excellent. I freaking love it. The armbands, we covered that. So I want to get these out of the way because I actually want to show you guys some fix-ups that I think you guys will actually be interested in doing yourselves. And uh, we got all these extra hands. and need to get those out of the way. But uh, you guys will see here, we did show the case this in another video. I think the last episode of My Damn Halls, we showed off this Orange Cassidy. Uh, but since then, I actually have done a few things. I did paint up the jeans. You guys can see like the fade going on in there. I did cut holes in the knee pads or in the knee pads. I cut holes in the jeans right there so you guys can see that. And uh, I thought about painting the knees black because I don't think that any knee pads are going to go into these jeans because they're totally going to be way too tight. But I thought about painting the knees black, um, making these holes bigger. But I thought the holes make it look a little bit better, a little bit sharper. The white paint looks good around here. I like that I added like a light blue and a white paint. It kind of gives it that, you know, lighter tone. The jacket looks pretty good. Uh, I don't think I showed you guys with the sleeves rolled up in the video last time. <laughs> almost vomited. But there's the jacket on the figure with the sleeves rolled up. Really happy with the way the Orange Cassidy turned out. I did end up painting his head sculpt, uh, this Daniel Bryan head sculpt, and we did add the sunglasses right there. We're going to take these off. You guys can see right there. Uh, the reason that he has like this blonde color, this blondish brownish color, and the blonde beard is because I tried to get it like blonde, but then you couldn't really see it, and then I was like, what if we painted it like the edge figures are painted, like the, the beard and, and the hair color? Because his hair color and his beard color is very similar to Edge's. So I went ahead and gave him like the same look as Edge figures that we have. And you guys can see the beard painted on right there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But I did my best to get that in there. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it works out all right. I did Dremel the head sculpt before I, you know, painted it. I haven't sealed it just yet, but there's the glasses on there. And it works for me, you know. It's not perfect by any means, but uh, it's, a, it's a good little Orange Cassidy custom, at least for now, until we get an official Orange Cassidy. Maybe if AEW ever gets their own official action figures but there is orange cassidy i figured you guys would like to see that so we got the orange cassidy figure over there he's completely done another fix up i wanted to show you guys is this finn balor it's a kind of a way to make an updated heel nxt balor all you want to do is take your elite 70 finn balor left arm and put it on here so you can interchange the hands i went ahead and left the right arm on there from the top talents but then i switched the choke slamming hands with daniel bryan hands and then i switched on plain black knee pads i switched out the lower legs with a a, uh, I think it's the entrance grade Finn Balor, and then I gave him plain black kick pads from another figure. That way, uh, only the you know the trunks decals are in the rainbow color, but it kind of gives it that heel NXT look. And if you guys wanted to, you could do this with a ringside exclusive Finn Balor too. It'd give you the same effect. You just have to switch on the top towel head sculpt. But I thought that'd be a pretty cool fix up for you guys to do as well. Um, this figure we made a whole video on. If you guys want to make your own updated 2020 heel Seth Rollins, we did a whole video tutorial on how you guys can do that. So this is the main uh, thing right here. You got the top talents figure with the basic 102 head sculpt. We did switch the arms with Elite 64 Rollins. We switched the right hand with a Booker T hand to give him the black glove. And then we switched out the knee pad 
for a plain black knee pad. Very easy fix up, very easy to do, but it is a cool fix up. If you guys missed that tutorial video on how to do that, I did want to showcase it in the video. Obviously, we have our AOP to go with Rollins, and then uh, a couple Jeff Hardys are ah, Orange Cassidy busted his head open. So we have the Orange Cassidy right there who just busted his head open, and then we have a few Jeff Hardys back here that I wanted to showcase. This one's pretty cool. This is actually a commission from one of my friends. He uh, wanted me to do a head swap for him, so I went ahead and just head swapped um, these two, and uh, the neck peg was broken out of the figure. I had to fix that, but it's the Battle Pack Jeff Hardy, but you, sw you swap the heads between the SummerSlam Basic and the Battle Pack to give you the, f uh, the purple face paint on the purple figure right there from the Battle Pack, and it kind of gives it a cool, really, like, really unique look, and then we have the plain black with the Jeff Hardy head, so those are two little cool fix-ups. I don't really fix up basic figures, but I thought that was pretty cool, so I wanted to showcase it in this video, and the last fix-up that we have is the Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy with the entrance greats Jeff Hardy head sculpt and this one is super fire I freaking love the way this came out one thing I really love is the lime green from the sleeves ties into the lime green um, on the other sleeve and in the face paint and then the purplish hair ties in to the purplish sleeve of oh, purplish it's a purple sleeve ties into the purple sleeve the black ties into all the black the white ties in in the belt with the gold and then the black and the blue in the face also ties into the sleeves with the blue here the black there and all the black Black all over. So I really like this a lot. I just love that green ties in right there and it's so beautiful because it's so factory made. You don't have to worry about paint chipping. Just a really unique fix up that I hadn't seen. I don't think so. I thought, you know, I have so many Survivor Series elites. You might as well switch out one for the entrance greats and just take a look at it. But that is going to do it for today's episode of My Damn Halls. Guys, we have all of these like freaking Survivor Series Jeff Hardys. Absolutely ridiculous. I, I can't wait to do fix ups and stuff like that with them. We have these other fix ups that we've done here today uh, or that I showcase here today we didn't really make them here today but that is going to do it guys we also uh, have our paint right here don't don't forget about the paint but that is going to do it for today's episode of my damn holes guys again whatever the hell number episode it is but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe action figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you